Hey guys, Adrian here, Kid Guru. Today I want to take you guys with a quick overview of the new Mac App Store. If you head over to apple.com, you'll see the new announcement at apple.com slash mac slash app dash store for the new Mac App Store. This is a release featuring more than a thousand apps and one new simple way to get them. So basically, this is unifying the iOS, iPad, you know, the iOS platforms App Store for the iPhone, the iPad, and now the Mac. The new Mac App Store, which was released earlier in the year, or talked about earlier in the year, is going to feature some new stuff. So I'm just going to this aside here. Sorry. Um, the new Mac Store is going to allow you to basically get all the apps that are already in the App Store, or a lot of Mac apps that are out there, and put them all in one place for you to view the apps and download them and get them. And it's, it's just one simple interface. You know, so many people are used to the App Store interface. You know, simple click to buy, uh, you know, top free apps, top paid apps. And this is bringing a lot of those famous Mac apps or, you know, those iOS apps and bringing them to the Mac to for the desktop. So, you know, you can have these on your MacBook Air. You can have these on your iMac. You can have this on your MacBook Pro. You can have the, the App Store anywhere you go on your laptop, on your mobile device, and on your iPad, etc. So, uh, it says great apps for your Mac right on your Mac. So, you can get the, I, you know, they have the iWorks suite in there. So, they have a lot of the Ma default Mac applications that are already use, like Aperture, GarageBand, stuff like that for purchase on the app store so you don't have to go out and actually buy you know uh, the iLife CD you can actually get a digital copy from the app store uh, install any app with ease it's gonna be that simple plain interface to get your apps keep all your apps up to date in one uh, you know management tool so you don't have to worry about running you know if you install multiple apps and you know obviously you're gonna have to uh, you know update them as automatic updates come out etc but this keeps them all up to date in one simple way now how do you get it so you want to head over to the top Apple in your top left corner and go to the Apple logo and click software update, let that run, restart your Mac after the uh, Mac OS X update has installed. And you can now buy, download, or even re-download applications that you've downloaded on previous, uh, you know, if you bought them elsewhere. So here they have some great Mac apps that you can check out just for an overview so you can get compartments. This is a one easy home inventory. Uh, some famous games like Flight Control HD is going to be now available for the Mac. Obviously, there's going to be new controls as you're not going to be using your keyboard. I mean, you have keyboard and mouse rather than the whole, uh, you know, touch screen. But again, you know, you have the touch. Uh, I'm sure that you'll be able to integrate using stuff like the multi-touch trackpad, etc. They have default apps by Apple, like I already talked about, that can all be purchased through the new Mac App Store. So let's quickly take a look at the new Mac App Store with a quick overview. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And you can see here that the software updates that I already have installed here. So here is the new Mac App Store. Very simple, very plain. Your options are all up here in the top left about the App Store. Edit, Store, you can actually sign in here with your iTunes account, which I'm not signed in yet. Uh, and, you know, other options like that. So here you have your featured, you have your top charts, which will show you everything that's top paid, top free, etc. And you can give go ahead and give those a download. My pricing is actually in yen, that's Japanese currency, so 9,000 yen, that's like $90 around there. Uh, so yeah, don't worry about that. It's just uh, changing my country settings as of yet. You still have your categories like business, developer tools, etc. Um, you can also click this category button up here to see the top three apps in each category. That would be a little overview. So for productivity, you can have Evernote, uh, you know, MindNode for Mac. Obviously, all the apps aren't going to be out. So you can see your medical. And there's not any in this category as of yet. There's not a lot of apps just because it was just released today. So I'm sure they're still transitioning a lot of apps and still getting some new apps added to the market here you can view all your purchases depending on your account you're signed in so you have to sign in to view your purchases and of course your updates you're gonna have to sign in to view the apps that you need to update so it's consolidating all the Mac apps out there and putting them in one easy to reach interface along with that they're adding a lot of apps that are coming from the mobile platform that have made these you know gaming so famous like Angry Birds for example is gonna be six dollars to buy on the Mac um, and you can see here that it's going to be a different experience because obviously you're using this on a 10 times or more bigger screen depending on whatever monitor you have. You can read more features here. It's up to 195 levels um, and it's a 50% off for the limited time only in the Mac store. Your information and requirements will be right here about how much you know size it's going to take up, etc. And then this will run just like a regular app would on your computer. And with this you can see here, it's just going to run and you have obviously much more screen space and you could do some, you know, Angry Birds via your MacBook Pro, your MacBook, whatever it may be. 
So uh, it says here not available in the mo they have some features that are even not available in the mobile version. So you get some benefits here and there. Um, and yeah, guys, that's pretty much the new Mac App Store. It's uh, just going to feature all these place uh, applications in a place for you to access them. Very simply, very very easy. You can change your country down here if you need to, which I'll have to do later on. Um, and you know, it's just really an easy way to get all your apps. You don't have to go around the internet looking for new apps. You know, if you ever need a new app for your Mac and you really don't know what you want to get. You have tons and tons of apps as the time will go on to search through the categories, the feature, the top charts, all of that. So this Adrian here uh, for the uh, Laker Cool Man channel, I guess. Sorry, I was gonna say <laughs> I was gonna talk about my other channel for a second, but you do want to check out uh, YouTube.com/slash/DigitalDojos. We have some technology reviews, product reviews, um, you know, all of that there, along with software tutorials. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna do a little bit more in-depth look in the future uh, i may have a podcast up talking about my thoughts on the app store and you know how i feel after i've you know purchased some apps and you know the future what they can do with the future with this and stuff like that to make it a really good product for the or software platform for the mac so stay tuned for that again check out my website at digitaldojos.com along with our other youtube channel run by myself duncan our mobile phone 2003 uh, and some other people at youtube.com slash digital dojos. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out my other videos, and don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching.